This is a long shot. It is great for revealing the setting, and is commonly used at the beginning of a scene. The medium shot is commonly used when you begin to personally know a character. Close-ups are great for expressing emotion in the character. It is the shot of choice in the more dramatic scenes. The point of view shot reveals what the character is literally seeing. This is the exterior version of the over-the-shoulder shot, which is used to film conversations. This is a low-angle shot. It helps make a subject look superior and have more presence. A high-angle shot can give the character an appearance of being vulnerable and insignificant. Camera movement is an important part of storytelling. It helps convey action that a still shot can't pull off. This is a camera tilt. It is best used to show height and vertical movement. Unlike the tilt shot, the pedestal shot consists of the camera moving vertically. The zoom shot helps to show blunt and dramatic effect. Similar to a pan shot, the track shot provides parallax between foreground and background, which a pan shot cannot provide. This is the dolly shot. It can be effectively used to follow complex actions done by the performers. When a subject is in the center of the shot, it comes out boring. Following the rule of thirds, though, you can place the subject on a grid line, giving him space to look. The rule of thirds was applied as a guide during the composure of these frames. This is an asymmetric shot. The scene appears unbalanced visually. Consisting of a more balanced picture, the symmetric shot reveals similar shape and colors on both sides of the image. 